On Tuesday, a flight is due to depart for Jamaica and on board, amongst other so-called foreign criminals, many of whom, as I understand it, were brought up in this country, who came here as young children. Amongst these people is a man who served a two-month prison sentence ten years ago for a crime that he wouldn't be convicted of today, for something that he wouldn't be convicted, criminally convicted of today, two months in prison, came here when he was 11 from Jamaica, now has a very young British baby and a wife here in this country. He's going to be on board that flight unless it is stopped or unless something intervenes. Unless the legal process kicks in in his favour. It is absolutely disgusting as so many people are calling in and saying, oh, well, he knew the rules, he did the crime, send him there, we all sign up to the same rule. Where is the humanity? Where is the compassion? This, this bloke is, to all intents and purposes, British. I don't know why he hasn't got his British passport. I don't know why he hasn't got his British citizenship. But he is essentially as British as me. I, bet, I haven't heard him speak, but I bet you he sounds as British as I do. And as British as anyone who's called in this morning. This is someone who likely hasn't spent any, or hasn't lived in Jamaica in his adult life. May not know anyone there. He's spent time in prison. He wouldn't be spending that time in prison had he done what he did 10 years ago now because the, the law has changed. And yet we think it is okay to expel him from this country. Like, almost like the old days when they had penal colonies. Send people to French Guyana or whatever it was, That's the, as the French did. I think it is shameful. Sh absolutely shameful. It, it makes me furious. And Boris Johnson just thinks the British people think it's right that foreign criminals are sent back. Sent back? Sent to somewhere where they came from, where they immigrated to this country from, with their parents as an 11-year-old? The, the horrific story last year of, of, the, of a Somali Brit, effectively, didn't have British citizenship, came here as a six-year-old. His father was killed in Mogadishu. He turned to crime in his teens, was a Class A drug dealer, found himself on a flight to Mogadishu. I mean, it is, it is such a bad reflection on this country. It is horrendous. Yes, you should be sent to prison if you do bad stuff. Of course you should. But if you're brought up here, then you're our problem. We should rehabilitate you. And the people who call in and say you're just middle class privilege... What, what sort of an argument is that? As though I am not capable of being the victim of a crime, the victim of a so-called foreign criminal. Of course I am, just as much as anyone else is. It also suggests that compassion is, is, is the, the domain of the middle classes, as though working class people cannot feel this sort of empathy that I am asking you to feel. Come on, you want to be proud to be British, this brave new world of Brexit Britain? Let's be able to hold our heads up high.